Good morning, everybody. This is K. Palakrishna. Presently, we are learning about the subject called as financial services. In this financial services, we are learning about the topic which is called as uh, um, credit rating. What do you mean by credit rating? Credit rating is a process of estimating the financial soundness of an organization and rating is given to them. Based upon the rating that is communicated, uh, the, uh, the investors will get benefited because of the rating because they this rating will become a guideline for them to invest or not to invest. Now, no one forces that uh, investor to invest or not invest based upon the guidelines um, given by the credit rating. But uh, the investor will get a clear idea regarding the financial soundness once the rating is observed. Now I'll be sharing the screen regarding the small PPT and I will be explaining to you what do you mean by credit rating. What do you mean by credit rating? Uh, what do you mean by credit rating? Credit rating evaluates the worth of the business, the financial soundness of the business, the financial credibility of the organization or the credit worthiness of the company. Here in this class, uh, we will discuss about uh, various uh, credit rating procedures and uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of credit rating, credit rating, and what are the steps involved in credit rating together so that you will get a clear idea regarding this procedure. What are the steps involved, steps involved in the credit rating? Four aspects are involved in the credit rating. First is called as business analysis. They will conduct the rating agencies will conduct the business analysis. Business analysis includes what sort of risk is associated with the industry, what is the position of the company in the market, what is its um, soundness, that is, what is its financial position. What is its production capacity and what are the legal constraints that the business has? All these consist of business analysis, which is performed by the credit rating agencies. Next one is financial analysis. Financial analysis includes the accountancy quality, that is, um, the degree to which the audits are being submitted and the earning potential, that is the returns that can be raised by the company. Along with this, the cash flow adequacy means the, whether the cash inflows are more than outflows or not. Along with this, there is a financial flexibility. That is uh, whether, the, um, whether, the, whether the financial, um, whether the company's financial sound or not is being checked. Next, the third one is management evaluation. Management evaluation gives a study of track record of the management, track record of the management in the sense whether the organization is performing well to its potentialities or not. Next also helps to understand the adverse situations that the company is facing and gives the guideline to the investor whether to invest or not. It also gives a analysis regarding philosophy that is vision, mission, objectives, goals, policies, procedures, etc. It also gives an analysis regarding the strategies operated by the firm, whether they would be relevant to the present day environment or not. Along with this, they will also conduct a financial analysis like liquidity. Whether, the com whether investment into the company can uh, block or uh, investment or can be converted into cash, asset quality and tax institute is also being observed. One of the steps in credit rating. First and foremost step in credit rating is to collect the information. What sort of information is collected? We have just discussed regarding the business, regarding the earning uh, potentiality, regarding the cash flows, etc. Can uh, is uh, conducted um, after the who collects this information? A team of professionals collect this information. Who sends the team? The, the, the rating company will send a team. The credit rating agency will send a team to the company to inspect for system. The team consists of group of committee members, and these committee members will uh, discuss about the financial soundness of the company. And finally, they assign the rating. The, the rating is communicated to the um, company. 
after the rating is uh, confidentially discussed and communicated to the company, these reports are finalized and uh, communicated to the um, targeted company. Next one is uh, uh, this rating is acting as a baseline for the investors to invest. If the rating is good, the investors can invest and the investor confidence on that company will be increasing. And this rating is uh, unbiased and it is uh, to profit by investor rights. Uh, and uh, this rating helps guide, acts as a guideline for the investors to invest. What are the objectives of credit rating? The main objective of credit rating um, is it improves the discipline, means discipline of the borrowers. Means uh, the borrowers want to safeguard the investment, and this process of safeguarding will be done through credit rating. It gives a credence regarding the financial position of the company. It gives the information that facilitate uh, the public uh, to invest. It also discloses all the financial information regarding the company, and it also discloses all the costs um, involved in the rating process. Rating is just a marketing tool. Uh, it is in fact, it, it is a, in fact a guideline which is acted by, by uh, the investors whether to take an investment decision or not. What are the benefits of the credit check? There are a large number of benefits of credit rating to the investors. First and foremost is the rating guides the investors to take an investment decision. I want to invest in XYZ company or not. There's secure AAA rating, I'm ready to invest. Next, rating, benefits of rating reviews. If the rating review is good, automatically all the investors will rush towards the company and invest assurance of safety. They will be able to protect their own uh, their own investment from being uh, from being uh, lost. If they do if they, if the investors invest in the companies with a low rating, their investment will be at risk. And if the companies uh, the investor invest in the rate in the companies with high rating, automatically they will be subjected to higher amount of uh, credentialities. Next uh, is uh, easy understandability of investment proposal. Means the investor can easily assess the financial credibility by just looking at the rating. Some rating agencies will give on the basis of safety of investment, some will give on the basis of returnability of the investment. Based upon the real institution, the rating um, is set. And now, choice of in, uh, instruments. The credit rating enables the investor also to invert to compare one, one firm with the rest of the firms. It also saves the, um, saves the time and effort for the investors. So rating is also beneficial for the company. The com if the rating is good, the company's image, goodwill, name, fame, etc. will be increased. Investors' uh, acceptance will increase, large amount of investments will run into the company. And the company will be at the will be share value will be enhanced. Low cost of borrowing. Now, if the rating is good, the banks will be ready to fund the fund the short term needs. And if the company goes for an FPO, also the investors will be ready to support the company. It's still, it is also beneficial for the company because uh, wider there will be a wider audience for borrowing now. They can, if the company wanted to go for an FPO, follow up uh, on a uh, public issue, then uh, they can large amount of investments can drive into the company. Next, uh, it is or it is good for non popular companies. That is a new company if it is established. It is good for the new company because uh, no, uh, the new company's data will be known to the investors, the new company's potentiality will be known to the investors only through the rating. It markets the company. Simply, we can say that uh, this markets the company. This uh, gives a potentiality and marketability, improves the marketability of the company. Next, it acts, it uh, also is uh, essential uh, for the company to grow. So, what are the demerits of the credit rating? The major demerit of the credit rating is possibility of bias. 
bias exists. Bias means what we call if I know if XYZ credit rating agency, I can fund the credit rating agency and get a better rating. This will auto, there are cases when the credit rating was given and within three months, the company went for liquidation. We cannot apply to it. Here, it is not the fault of the credit rating agencies because the credit rating agencies will give the rating only based upon the uh, disclosures provided by the company. Next one is impact of changing environment. It is a problem for the new companies means uh, why, the reason why it is a problem for the new companies is new companies do not have a previous report. And so the rating is given based upon the future prospects of the company, which may be sometimes turned to be false all the time. It's downgrading of rating agencies. Uh, sometimes uh, the rating agency must be credible enough and its credibility is also being checked by an investor before uh, believing in the rating. Difference in rating. If one company says that it is financially sound and the other exclaims that the cash flow position is worst, then we cannot bear the, as an investor, we cannot believe in the rating. This is in fact a small analysis regarding what do you mean by credit rating? What are the processing credit rating? Next, uh, what are the what are the guidelines for the credit rating? Next, what are the advantages and disadvantages for credit rating? Hope you all understand this class.